All right, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So this story takes place back when I was in high school. And funny enough, this is one of those stories that you guys really need to listen into because you guys' minds are going to be blown. If you guys saw the title of this video, yes, there was a girl in my school who actually did it under my desk. But the way this ended up happening was actually kind of bizarre. It all starts off back in high school. This is my grade 11 year, and I remember I was just doing my own thing. And by that, I usually mean I'm on my phone in the hallway, chilling, looking at videos, and just relaxing. At this time, I wasn't a YouTuber. YouTuber, and no one knew that I made YouTube videos back then because, well, it was considered cringy to be a YouTuber. It actually blows my mind how nowadays, literally all the kids in America, as a young age, they're like, oh my goodness, like, I really want to be like a vlogger and a YouTuber. And like, I want to like make videos and make millions of dollars. Guys, it's not that easy. You guys think like, it's just that easy just to become a content creator. Well, if it was, I would have done it so long ago. But nowadays, it's very different. And like I said earlier, no one knew I was a YouTuber. So let's keep it that way because I would have gotten bullied back then for being one. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember one of the things I really kind of did in my high school life to be considered cool was that I would do these things where basically I would kind of just join teams and clubs and sports without actually being good at them, but I did it for that social pleasure. If you guys don't know what I mean, I mean, when you guys are in high school, one thing you guys got to really realize is that you're going to have to make friends, communicate with people, and at the same time, be able to voice your opinion. Being your best self and voicing your opinion and being really outgoing is one of the things that really pull you through high school. And no, I don't mean be that blue haired chick that sits in the corner of the hallway listening to heavy punk metal and being awkward as hell. I mean, legit being yourself and at the same time voicing your opinion on things that will help you out in the future. Like, I remember one of the things I did was I one time was in a classroom and I was just talking to a bunch of girls that were in my class. They already knew about me because I'm going to be real with you here. A lot of them already did the devil's tango with me. And if you guys are wondering what club this was, this was Spanish class. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of hotter girls in Spanish class than in French class. And I don't know why, but I'm I mean, it is what it is. Anyways, I remember basically in my Spanish class, there was three Latino girls that were really attractive. And like, holy cow, dude, like I love Latinos. Like they're honestly very attractive. One of the like, definitely like top of the line of woman species. I don't know. Anyways, it's just a part of the story going on. I remember basically I was talking to these three girls and all three of them were somewhat interested in me. So I remember as I was talking to these girls, all these girls were just kind of like trying to find a time for me to hang out with them and stuff. But me, I've been super busy. And if you guys are wondering on what, well, to be honest, it was a thing called school. The thing I was legit in for the last 12 years of my life. Well, actually at this time it was 11, but still. But I remember there was one girl in that group that really, really wanted to hang out with me. Like no joke, this Latino girl, I don't know why, but she was so pushy and so in need to hang out with me. It was like I was going to save her life or something. So I remember she literally said, oh my goodness, like Baba, like we should just hang out. Like, I don't know why you're busy. Like, what are you doing? Like, actually just talk to me, please. And I remember I straight up told her, dude, I'm literally going to be at school taking a test after school. School. I, I'm gonna be busy. She ended up looking at me saying, oh, come on. There's no way you're actually taking a test. And I'm like, yeah, I literally have to take a test for a socials class because I missed it compared to everyone else that was here for that day. If you guys are wondering why I missed it, by the way, it's because I was skipping school and I was gonna go hang out with another chick, but she didn't need to know that. Anyways, I remember she kept asking on and on, like, come on, like, let's just hang out then. But in reality, I told her, okay, you know what? Fine. We can hang out, but after I'm done my test. Later on, I remember the school day went by and me and her were just snapping on Snapchat of what things we wanted to do. She just told me how she just wanted to come over to my place and do the devil's tango. And I'm gonna be brutally honest, I was fine with that. I mean, nothing wrong with that, I'll tell you that much. And then she kept going on and on and flirting and then she started sending me all these photos that I cannot say on here because, you know, YouTube monetization might demonetize this video. Please, YouTube, don't demonetize this. And then from there on out, I remember basically I told her towards the end of the school day, hey, I'm gonna be in this room, room 23B. So like, if you wanna come, you can, but like, I doubt the teacher will let you in. But like, I'm be honest here just just wait outside if you want i'm only gonna be like an hour or so she ended up being all like oh my goodness i'm like so in the mood to just like absolutely just do the devil's tango with you like come on bubba and i told her i couldn't and then she kept telling me how i should skip it but i couldn't i didn't want to lose and not graduate if you don't know graduating is the one thing that every kid should be focusing on when they're in school that and and women i mean obviously it's nice to find girls out there and for girls it's nice to find guys out there i think i'm not sure i don't know it's a really weird conversation on that one but anyways going out with the story i remember I went inside the classroom and started writing this test. And when I was, I remember the teacher was there with me for like the first almost hour of it. But then later on, he started to like kind of like get bored. And then he started going on his phone. He started doing the teacher things that usually teachers do when the test is being written. He kind of just stands up and he's like, okay, uh, just don't cheat. I trust you. I'm just going to go to the teacher's lounge. I'll just talk to you in a bit. And he ended up just leaving. So I remember as he was doing that, I kind of just pulled out my phone and started cheating on the test. Cause I'm going to be real here. If the teacher's leaving, it's his fault. I'm getting an A no matter what. And I started doing this test and stuff. And when the girl saw that I had 
had my phone she ended up just walking into the classroom saying oh are you done your test and then i looked at her and i was like what oh it's just you what are you doing because originally i thought it was my teacher walking into the classroom but then it was just her and she ended up walking up to me at my desk and she's like how are you not done this test yet like this was literally like a test from like two weeks ago and i kept telling her i skipped it and she just wasn't understanding for some reason she was very persevered and very pushy for me doing the devil's tango and it got to the point where she straight up leaned in towards me as i was sitting on the school chair and she just started making out with me now at this point i wasn't really sure what to do so i remember i looked at her and said okay like i gotta finish this test when she ended up pushing back but then afterwards she just decided to hop on under the desk and as i was writing my piece of paper i remember i looked under the desk saying did you drop something and then she instantly went for it she went for my eggplant and then one thing led to another yeah she went under my desk while i was doing a test and she decided to do the devil's head while i was writing a test yeah it's very weird now that i say it to be honest this is maybe many boys dream i'm gonna be honest here i just really wanted to get rid of this test and get it done with so i remember since most of the questions on this test were like multiple choice questions i decided to straight up to start like kind of how do i explain this i started to straight up just kind of circle whatever felt right and by that i usually mean and i think anyone who takes a multiple choice like you know test knows this you usually choose the one that seems like the longest answer and you just straight up just go with it so i remember i was doing that and i was just circling these things like crazy as she was just straight up doing the devil's head like literally i i don't know how i did this test but i just did it and afterwards i remember my teacher just ends up walking in my teacher walks in he looks at me and he's like oh good okay i'm just gonna quickly grab this he grabs his jacket that was by the door and just leaves he didn't even notice the girl that was under my desk literally giving me the devil's head so now i'm just looking around all like freaked out and stuff and i'm not gonna lie i was kind of going unbricked if that makes any sense i was going soft okay because that made me freak out and then afterwards two seconds later i remember i ended up doing the devil's creed because i was so panicked to the point where i just happened and i just see this girl come out of under the desk and looking at me and it just became really awkward at that point i was really awkwarded out and i remember i looked at her she looked at me she ended up grabbing my test putting it on the teacher's desk and grabbed my backpack and left the classroom and me what did i do well i just tailed along and went to her house and we ended up doing the devil's tango surprised that i did not get caught but i mean hey at the end of the day i was close to anyways guys that's basically it for today's story make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already seriously means a lot when you guys do and join the discord if you guys haven't also already and like i always say fall for more embarrassing but crazy stories all right peace out guys